I want to catch a live bunker. What's a live bunker? A live bunker is a bait fish used to catch striped bass. Oh. Here you go again, you're not going fishing. I want to catch a live bunker, so I can catch my 50 pounds striped bass. And how are you going to do this? I purchased a 8 foot cast net from J&H Tackle. I watched the YouTube video on how to throw a cast net many times, and I'm ready to go find a live bunker. You are out of your frigging mind. You have to go to work, forget this 50 pound striped bass you'll never catch and get real. I filled up my boat with gas, and I'm ready to scour the Great South Bay looking for a live bunker. So I can catch my 50 pounds striped bass. I'll give you a live bunker alright. We have bills to pay, and you made plans with the kids for this weekend. So get this dream of 50 pound striped bass out of your freaking head. And get back to life. I want to catch a live bunker. I have a live well on my boat and a bunker barrel at my dock, to hold my live bunker, that I will catch with my 8 foot cast net I purchased from J&H Tackle. I'm telling you now, if you go on another wild spending spree I'll cut your nuts off. Oh. Then I won't tell you about the custom rod I purchased from Captain Neil in the 975 pen international lever drag reel, to catch my 50 pounds striped bass. I only have one thing to tell you. Snip. I want to catch a live bunker with my 8 foot cast net I purchased from J&H Tackle. Put it on the hook of my custom Captain Neil rod with the 975 pen international lever drag reel, and catch my 50 pounds striped bass. You better sleep with one eye open mister. I will shove that custom rod right up your ass. Oh. Jay, so you want to go fishing with Pablo? Yeah, I thought you would get a big kick out of that. It was, really funny, I laughed my ass off. I'm glad you liked it. So what do you want to go fishing for? Since I'm the 2009 and 2010 Deadstick Champion of Northeast. I would like to try to learn how to use bucktails. How the hell did you win the 2009 and 2010 Deadstick Championship twice in a row? I'm not really sure. All I did, was lob a huge piece of dead bunker out into the ocean, and placed my rod in a holder, and waited for the fish to bite. So you mean to tell me that all you did, was lob a huge piece of dead bunker out into the ocean, and placed your rod in a holder, and waited for the fish to bite? Yeah kind of? Oh we also drank a lot of beer, while we waited for the fish to bite. Who is we? You know Bob, right? Oh yes, Bob is a cool guy. He has a really big camper on the back of his truck. He likes to drive it on the beach and go fishing. Yes that is him. He also likes to bring his wife Sharon fishing too. She usually outfishes him and takes a lot of pictures of him while he falls down the slippery rocks. Then she drives him to the hospital to fix him up. So have you been fishing lately? Yes, just the other day, I lobbed a huge piece of dead bunker in the water and caught a three foot brown shark. You mean to tell me, that you lobbed a huge piece of dead bunker, in the water, and caught a three foot brown shark? Yes I did, that is why I'm the 2009 and 2010 dead stick champion of Northeast. Okay Jay, we will go out on my boat and cast bucktails and retrieve them slowly over various structure and depths of the great salt bay and ocean. Did you say we will be going into the ocean? Yes I always fish in the ocean close to the breakers it gets a little rough sometimes. Oh, I get seasick I better stay on the shore, where I can lob dead pieces of bunker into the water, place my rod in a holder, drink beer and wait for the fish to bite. Oh, okay. Hey Jay who is this guy Jim? So, Jay, did you go fishing, with Pablo? Yes I did. Did you catch any fish? We caught 44 striped bass. You caught 44 striped bass? Yes we caught 44 striped bass all day long using a diamond jig with a green tube. Wow that is great I can't believe you caught so many. Yet you don't seem happy. Don't get me wrong I'm happy that Pablo broke my 15 year curse of not being able to catch a striped bass from a boat, but... But, what? Because I'm the 2009 and 2010 deadstick champ of Northeast, I thought he'd take me out on his boat. We would anchor up, throw dead pieces of bunker into the water, drink beer and wait for the fish to bite. You mean to tell me that, because you're the 2009 and 2010 deadstick champ of Northeast, you would rather have anchored up, throw dead pieces of bunker into the water, drink beer and wait for the fish to bite? 
Yes, because that Pablo is a madman, he would not stop. He kept on making me cast and catch fish. I must have made 1,000 casts today, and my arms are about to fall off. Plus I was so busy catching fish, I didn't get to drink any beer. Well I'm glad you caught so many fish. Now tomorrow, you can do all those things I've been nagging you to do around here. Oh, I'm sorry, I cannot. Oh, really, why? Pablo says I must remain with the fish. You see the fall migration is in full swing and we are going back tomorrow. I don't think so mister, unless you want to sleep in the doghouse. If I don't go he will erase all my videos, and delete the report from Noreast. And why should I care? Well then no one would believe, that I caught 44 striped bass, and I would lose face with all my surf friends. Jay I only have one thing to say. Both fish don't count. Now get to work. I want to catch some herring. Oh no here we go again. It's Thanksgiving and you're not going fishing. But I want to catch some herring. So I can catch my 50 pound striped bass. You can't go the whole family is coming over, and we have the turkey roasting in the oven. I'll only be out for a few hours. Pablo says if I use the sabiki rig I can catch a lot of herring fast. I don't care what Pablo says you have to help me set the table, and get the house ready. But I want to catch some herring. If I use the sabiki rig, and get a lot of herring I will live lie in them, and catch my 50 pound striped bass. What the hell is a sabiki rig? It's a rig with a lot of little hooks on it to catch a lot of herring fast. That sounds dangerous. Remember what happened the last time you went fishing for this 50 pound striped bass? You put a treble hook through your hand, and we had to go to the hospital. Yes I remember, but this time I will go on Pablo's boat he will find the herring I will use the sabiki rig catch a lot of herring, and we will live lie in them, and catch 50 pound striped bass. When are you going to get this dream of a 50 pound striped bass out of your head and get real? I will be back early, so we can have Thanksgiving. That's what you said last time mister, Pablo is like a crackhead when the striped bass are around he stays out all day. Yes I know, so I need you to call my cell phone like 10 times, and yell at me to come home. So let me get this straight you want me to let you go fishing on Thanksgiving day. Go on Pablo's boat, catch herring using a sabiki rig, then you will live line them, and catch a 50 pound striped bass, and be home in time for Thanksgiving dinner. Yes, and I need you to call my cell phone at least 10 times, and yell a lot at me to come home. You are out of your mind, if you think I will let you go fishing today? If you let me go you can take the charge card, and go shopping early on Black Friday. Spend as much as you like, do we have a deal? Okay. You are going to be paying for this fishing trip for the next 12 months. Have a nice day, and say hello to Pablo for me. Hey Pablo did you go fishing with that guy Lou? Yes I did Mark, he was on the boat that day we caught all those sturgeons. I've seen him on the beach once or twice, really, I hear you gave him, one of your famous teasers. Yes I did, but, that Guggen made one cast, and lost the whole rig. Really, how, the hell, did, he, do, that, I'm not really sure, but, he came down to the water wearing no waders. Then after he lost the rig, he tied a new one on, and caught a 30 inch striped bass. Wow, that sounds like Lou knows how to fish. Not really, you see he was having trouble landing the fish, and waded out into the water, got knocked down by a wave, and was soaking wet. I nearly pissed my pants when his Este Lauder hat floated right by me. Oh my god, that is too funny. That's not all, then he tried to release the fish back into the water, and got knocked down by another wave. Mark, stop, you're making me laugh. I only wish I had my camera ready, because he looked like a drowned rat. Ha 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 I can't stop laughing. All the guys on the beach were watching him. He then said, that's it, I'm going fishing with Pablo, and walked off the beach. So you mean to tell me, Lou came down to the beach, with no waders, hooked a fish, got knocked down by a wave, lost his Este Lauder hat. Then got knocked down again trying to release the fish got pissed off, and stormed off the beach, yes, that about right. I later made a cast, and hooked his Este Lauder hat. Oh my god, who goes fishing wearing an Este Lauder hat? I don't know, but, it was effin' hysterical.